morning it is a very early morning it's 4 20 it is a thursday i think i think it's a thursday or wednesday and uh we are going to thailand today i am going to hat yai a friend of mine is now in cameron and he's going all the way to phuket so i thought you know what i'll just join you all the way to hat yai and then i'll turn back the next day don't have much to do so why not today we are riding the x-max once again and we need to pump some petrol it's a bit low but i'll pump it in singapore i think i'll head to uh, the so at woodlands avenue one avenue two then i can get straight on the edl past the checkpoint and straight on to e2 i'll be meeting him uh, i think at a petronas just below just at the start of Cameron so he's gonna come down and then uh, I'm gonna meet him there and then we're gonna go straight on the same day today to Hat Yai hopefully we make it I do like to go through by woodlands when I'm going up north because it's quite a direct route although if you want to meet people it's much easier to meet um, at Tuas because you've got all the big petrol stations there but I'm not really fond of pumping petrol right when I enter Malaysia because it takes a bit of time I kind of like to once I pack my passport in to be out on the road already as soon as possible yes I know it's cheaper but I mean I'll definitely pump cheaper petrol later on so it's not really a big deal and today uh, there is a bit of a difference I haven't put the tank or rather the tunnel bag on yet it's actually in the box Yes, today I am riding with the top box. Not really fond of that, but works out. The reason actually why I don't have the top box the last time round is because the dynamics of the bike is so much better without the top box. And I mean, we were going to Mei Hong Son. You have the corners and stuff like that. So it's kind of nice to have something which is a bit more dynamic when it comes to messing around with the corners and stuff. Um, but today we're not. It's literally just straight roads. Uh-oh! Low fuel! Okay, I'm pretty sure we can make it. Pretty sure we can. Let's check the trip. And yes. Off we go! Off! Off we go! So hopefully you can hear because I haven't used this uh, mic setup in a long time because the last time I used it was years ago when I stayed at the KTM. So that was to film dumb shit that I was doing with that bike. Um, I mean now I've all grown up, so no more. Anyway, I might take out the GoPro soon enough because uh, once you go past 100, it's not very comfortable anymore. It's actually quite uncomfortable because the, the wind just bobbles it around. The helmet is not streamlined anymore. It is a good mount though. But yeah, it just doesn't do well on the highway And I don't think you can hear me that well If uh, I'm going much faster So we'll see how it goes Alright, let's, um, let's get some petrol in Really quickly And uh, we are off And we will be off Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go Where you want to go Mr. Evante? Alright Set fuel consumption average just for now so we know how much we are going to deal with average speed also we'll need that okay all right let's go to Thailand once again so it's now non-stop to possibly Saramban and then we will pump some petrol there quick one quick one quick one quick one quick one that is my little uh, rear fog light by between ah uh, what would us motorcyclists do without 
Decathlon. Such an amazing, such an amazing place to shop. Raincoats, bags, my god. And a good price too. Okay, back on the road again. Now I don't know why my phone is saying uh, no network, but that's okay. Let's go. We just covered uh, how many kilometers have we done? All right, 94.3, and the time we have taken while on the bike, an hour. So that means uh, we are on schedule. We'll do very well now. So where is the next rest stop? Uh, oh, this doesn't show it. But I think I will stop at Pago. Might just be a bit safer to stop there, pump some petrol instead of pushing it to Sramban because uh, don't think I'll make it. But mm, I think I can. It's just no, I'm not in the mood for taking a risk. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why, but the whiff of uh, oil palm, you know, the kelapa sawit oil, you know, straight into my throat. Uh, but that is, I don't know if you can see, but that is the exit for Yongping. I really do not mind some nice fishball noodles right now. I have half a mind of exiting, but I cannot. I cannot. Today I have a plan to reach somewhere in good time. So uh, one hour, 20 minutes away on our first planned stop, but I'm not too sure if I'm able to do it. Just really trying to err on the side of caution because uh, there is a rest stop that's coming up. It's about, I think, uh, about maybe 20 kilometers now which is just nice half so it might mean we may be able to skip RSA Saramban um, and then go straight to the foot of Cameron Highlands to meet my friend but uh, I'm really not sure really really not sure well we'll see how it goes I still got a lot of energy in me um, although my youth is fading away rather quickly so uh, we'll see how it goes Alright, hey. it's almost two hours on the bike now. I'm gonna take a break here at Pago, pump some petrol maybe, and then the next stop will be Suramban's uh, RSA. Hmm. I thought someone took a photo of me, then I realized it's actually the AES camera. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take off the GoPro. It's a pain the ass. Or neck rather my ETA is doing very well partly because there was a jam on E6 earlier quite a heavy jam uh, I believe is also because a lot of the KL lights or, or rather your KL peoples are, are going to work so that's why there's a there's jam on E6, but we cleared E6 in quite good time and at the same time, because of traffic, uh, managed to save some fuel also at the same time. So, very good actually. Uh, and now, we shall head to the foot of Cameron. 1 hour 31 minutes, as you can tell the GoPro is now on so we can chill chill ride go there in good time a uh, significant problem though I have forgotten to bring Thai Bat for some strange reason I totally forgot about that so it might mean that I need to withdraw some money some Bat later but the main cause of concern is paying the overtime fees. So the bud that I had at home 
was in small numbers so I had 20 baht, 20 baht, 20 baht so that could have been useful but uh, yeah unfortunately I forgot to bring that so just have to deal with it I guess if it means withdrawing money it means yeah I'll just withdraw some money yeah not having money is not an issue I mean you can always pay by card but the problem is overtime overtime fees are paid in cash so let's go oh there's a nice view there's a nice lake that's nice that's very nice seems like there's a lot of industries though across the lake hopefully they're not dumping chemicals into the lake that would kind of suck okay let's go aha looks like i'm going to cameron but i'm not i am not going to taste your strawberry nasi lemaks and stuff like that today hello friend how was the strawberry nasi lemak <laughs> hey sup la sup 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 now one thing that i feel malaysia is far ahead when it comes to their petrol stations is that the big name fellas like Petronas, Shell have pay wave. How good is that? Makes life so much easier. Uh, the views, the views just get better when you're coming into Ipoh, going past Ipoh, huh? Love it. Is there space for you in front? Wait, let me see ah. Uh. Go in front. Oh, never mind. Here better, here better. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay man, nice. 